Hi, welcome to this demo of using Glassfish v3 Prelude and Grails. So downloading Prelude using the zip. Download here at this point. Just decompressing the zip file. And uh, here we are. So let's start the app server. ASAdmin is the command line tool we use. And the app server starts in about uh, three seconds. So if we stop this, and we actually get into uh, the directories of uh, Glassfish Prelude and start with the java-jar. Um, you can see that it's actually using OSGI and the Felix implementation from Apache. And you can see that in this case, it started in about four seconds. Now, the next thing we do is actually go to the admin console. So there's a link from the uh, main page. And the admin console has a link to the update center. And the update center is, uh, or the update tool, update tool is where you can actually grab the Grails uh, implementation. And there's a whole lot of things you can grab there as well. So let's just select Grails, install, wait a little bit, uh, accept the license, of course, wait a little bit and have it installed. And we can check that indeed it's listed as an install component. There it is. Now let's stop the app server. Uh, we will now create a very simple Grails application. So let's just define uh, an environment variable. And we have it point to um, where Glassfish has now Grails installed. So let's just create now the simple application with uh, your typical Grails command. So just use Grails, create app, and Grails app. So this goes off and creates the, the skeleton for your Grails application. Now we can, what we can do is get into that application and run it using the um, default run-app target or command. And what you will see in this case is that we're actually using Glassfish Embedded uh, to test your application and this, that this whole thing also starts in less than three seconds. Uh, now obviously there's additional time to uh, create Spring uh, resources. So there we are, uh, and we'll actually scroll back a little bit, uh, look at Glassfish Embedded starting, how much time it took, less than a second to start the actual embedded part, and here's the URL of the, uh, the application. So we just go to that URL and obviously we see the application available. Now the other thing we can do is stop the app server. Um, and look at the help for Grails and see this shared war, shared war um, command. So we do this, we're still in the application. This actually creates a war file without all the libraries, without the actual Grails uh, framework. So once this is done, a uh, little while there, um, you can look at the file and see that it's fairly small. And in this case, I think it's, um, Right, about 200k, much smaller than the uh, usual, your typical uh, Grails application. So if we start again, Prelude, Glassfish V3, um, so we can deploy, oh, and, and we deploy using the dash dash library option to explain, to tell Glassfish where the uh, Grails installation is. And actually, uh, oh, and, and obviously pointed to the WAR file we've just created. Oh, and the, the app server was actually not starting. That's what I need to do. So let's start the domain. That's a few seconds. And now deploy. And now this has actually been deployed, or will be in a second. There we are. And we can now test this, and the uh, con web context has just changed a bit because it's based on the on the web on the WAR file name. So there we are. It's deployed as well. So we have two ways of testing this: either deploy or uh, using the run app command. 
So you can list the application, you can then deploy this as a WAR file, and you could do this from the, uh, the web console as well. So there it's undeployed. So there you are. Go grab Glassfish V3 Prelude and happy Grails debugging and coding.